I just got done recording a training video on finding your niche using ChatGPT for our masterclass inside our free school community, the Family Business School, and I thought this would make for a great YouTube video. So in today's video, if you want to start an online business but you have no idea what your business should be, I'm going to share with you how to find your niche, your business idea, using ChatGPT in less than 30 minutes. You're going to need your niche selection worksheet, which you can gain access to when you join our free school community by clicking the link below. So let's get started. All right. Now we're going to transition into uh, filling out our niche selection worksheet. So if you want, you can go ahead and pull this up. Um, you can see that under the master of the fundamentals training module here in our family business school, under the resources section, you'll actually find all of the um, the worksheets. We've got five different worksheets for you. Niche selection worksheet, market research, customer avatar, messaging, and our course uniqueness worksheet. So if you want, I've already got it pulled up here. You would just click on this to, to bring up the niche selection worksheet. And we're going to just start going through this. I mean, this right here is the bread and butter of, of what you've got to get perfected before you can move on really to anything else. This worksheet can be filled out step by step to help you define your niche understand your audience and begin planning your online course or community. We encourage you to use AI tools like ChatGPT, which is what we're going to do here today, to gather additional market insights, making the process efficient, comprehensive, and fun. So if you don't already have an account for ChatGPT, I've put uh, a link here where you can click through on that link and you can create an account and uh, get uh, ChatGPT opened up. This is gonna be part of your homework anyway, so if you just wanna follow along, and then your homework is going to be to actually go through these uh, five worksheets and fill all this out using ChatGPT as a, as a guide. Okay, so step number one, go ahead and write down five niches or hobbies that you're deeply interested in. Think about the topics that you're passionate about or that you have knowledge in. And don't worry about whether it's profitable at this stage. We're just brainstorming um, your interests. I've got an example here, which is we're going to be using throughout these trainings um, of postpartum weight loss, but it could be anything. It could be puppy training or how to grow an urban garden. I, I don't know. But whatever, whatever things, niches or hobbies that you're interested in, just go ahead and list those, list those there. Number two, um, go ahead and write down five skills or areas of expertise that you currently have. Any professional experiences, hobbies or personal knowledge that might help others. So for example, I'm speaking on behalf of my wife here, but I am a certified nutrition coach and personal trainer. I've gone through a weight loss transformation myself and I've helped other friends achieve similar results. All right, step number three, list the problems, fears, and desires of your chosen niche. And this is where we're gonna use ChatGPT. You can see the power of uh, ChatGPT here in just a second, but choose one or more niches from step one and write down the main problems, fears, or desires of people in that niche. Here, again, you can use ChatGPT to help you research this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to, we're gonna go ahead and select this. Go over to ChatGPT here. And let's see. I've already done this, but we're just going to go ahead and, and paste this in here. Pretend you are a marketing expert. And then I've just copied and pasted here, as you can see, um, the information from my worksheet list, the problems, fears, and desires of your chosen niche. And rather than saying your chosen niche, you're going to say list the problems, fears, and desires of postpartum moms who want to lose their baby weight. And then just go ahead and click enter. We'll see what it gives us. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, ChatGPT is amazing. It just immediately you know, brings up problems, time constraints, you know, managing a baby, household tasks, work, leaves little time for exercise or meal planning, physical exhaustion, body changes, 
conflicting information, fears of fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of health consequences, fear of losing their identity, and their desires regaining confidence, um, increased energy, their long-term health, balance between family and self-care, support and community. And you can see ChatGPT says here, understanding these problems, fears, and desires can help create more effective, empathetic marketing strategies and offer solutions that truly resonate with postpartum moms looking to lose their baby weight. So as you can see, um, pretty amazing stuff. So you would just copy those problems, fears, and desires, and just go ahead and paste them over here into your, into your uh, niche selection worksheet. So step number four, identify the most significant problem and the strongest desire within your niche. So from step three, highlight the biggest problem your target audience faces and their strongest desire. This will help you pinpoint what transformation your course or community will provide. So again, you can use ChatGPT to help, help with this. So we'll just copy this and see, basically I've done all the work for you here with these worksheets. I mean, essentially you can take these, these steps um, and turn them into prompts. So really all you have to do is just select this, copy it, go over to ChatGPT, just paste that in, identify the most significant problem and the strongest desire of, and then just add your niche, postpartum moms who want to lose their baby weight. Hit enter, see what it comes up with. And straight away, I mean, it gives you um, just a, honestly, just great information. The most significant problem postpartum moms face when trying to lose baby weight is the lack of time and energy due to demands of taking care of a newborn, household responsibilities, possibly work. And then their strongest desire would be to regain confidence and feel like themselves again. So you can see how you can use this information, chat with GPT. You can copy these, paste them over here into your um, niche selection worksheet, your biggest problem, strongest desire, just go ahead and copy those in. And now you've got that information. Step number five, research existing resources or competitors. So find any YouTubers, bloggers, websites, or courses that already serve this niche. This will help you learn what's working, what's missing, and how you can differentiate your offering. So here I've just, I've gone ahead and I've, I've got a link in here. Um, to pregnancy and postpartum TV. And you can see, I mean, they've got 1.81 million subscribers here. And you can just go through here and look at, you know, the, the videos and get an idea um, for the kinds of things that they talk about and see what's, see what's missing. That's just one example. You can go out on, you know, on Google and, and like I said, look for websites, blogs, look for other courses and um, that'll help you understand what your competitors are are, are teaching in their courses and what's missing and how you can differentiate your course. All right, step number six, investigate any existing courses that solve this problem. So look for courses or communities that solve the same problem that you've already identified and what, what do they offer, okay? How can you make your course better, more accessible, more unique? And again, this goes back to the benefits of school. You're probably gonna find that a lot of these courses lack um, community, community engagement, or they've got, you know, um, things all over the place. So you have to go to this platform to do this and this platform to do that. And school, the great thing about school is it just, it brings everything under one umbrella and one platform. And that's just one of the great things, not to mention the subscription offering of, of school where you can charge a low monthly subscription along with the community and along with the calendar features and just it just makes everything better. It just makes the unique value proposition of your course. It's just gonna be so much better than, than everybody else's. Okay, step number seven, assess whether you currently have the skills and knowledge to solve this problem. Do you have the expertise to help people make this transformation? If so, you're ready to move forward. If not, consider moving on to the next step. And we're not gonna take the opportunity here to go 
um, through through these next steps. I mean, to be honest with you, if you've made it this far, if you've taken a, an assessment of your passions, your skills, your your expertise, a transformation you've overcome, um, most likely you have the necessary skills to be able to do this. And with the help of ChatGPT, I mean, there's just really no excuse. I mean, to be honest with you, I could create, literally create a course on postpartum weight loss. But I don't think people would probably want to come to my community, right? Because I'm a, I'm a guy. But I could literally use ChatGPT and acquire the necessary information that I would need to be able to create a course using um, ChatGPT and a little bit of, uh, of brain power. So if you found this information helpful, I invite you to join us in our free community over on School. We're available to answer any questions you have. We'll also be building out and offering for free to our community members the first week of our course where we teach you how to build your own course and community on school. We also have some free resources available for you to check out as well. So if you're ready, let's build a business together.